Hi, I'm Wayne from TC Electronics and Marine. We're going to do a short video to um, show you how to shim the dry shaft. So you start with the cleaning the um, pinion, the inside of the pinion and the dry shaft extremely well. Polish it if you have the uh, a means of doing that. That would be uh, usually on a lathe with some emery cloth. Make sure that it seats out extremely well. Put the nut on, bring it up to about 80 pounds and then assemble it. Um, place the um, bearing on and the retainer, bearing the retainer on. Okay, put that all together like this. This is just a spacer I'm placing there. And I'm putting this in a fixture here. Okay, um, we're actually have a, this is a, for anyone who hasn't seen this, this is actually a shimming fixture, but you can make your own, or if you have a lathe, you can place it on the low lathe, anything that would basically um, put pressure on this to keep this on the whole assembly tight. So what we want to do is we want to push down with this bearing here and keep pressure on about six or eight pounds while we just just so we pressure test it or just um, until we shim it sorry um, so we're looking for just put a little bit of pressure on that and this is a shim gauge Let's see if I can uh, get a better picture of it here And it's, um, what it is, is seven decimal five, that's, I'm not sure what that says there. It's like seven decimal five eleven is what I'm getting off of it. Uh, the OEM number, if you want to buy this tool, it's a 328366. And whatever your rating is off of this with this tool, you subtract that reading from 20 thou is what it says there. Okay, I just changed the camera there so that it reads close up. And that's, that's a little bit better picture there. Okay, this is for the 400 series. So once you've got this clamped in any fashion you want, you're going to need a, a spacer. It's going to reach from inside here. You could probably use a, a dial vernier that looks similar to this in place of it. You would you would use it in this type of mesh measure from there to the to the down down to here. But in our case, we're using this with the set um, spacer. Um, I've already pre-measured this. This is the feeler gauge. We're pretty much done the same way you would. Um, gauge the points. It um, ends up coming out to about 15 thou on this one. But whatever it was, if it was 10 thou or 16, you would subtract that from the 20 thou. So you start off 
with this set distance here, measure it, and then subtract it from it, whatever it is. So this is 15 thou, and it's a, just a shade loose, it's probably be closer to 16. So we would subtract the 16 from the 20 thou, and that would give us the shimming for this item would be 4 thou. So we would then purchase, um, in this case, the 4 thou shims are 23,580. You get two in it, we're only going to be using one. There's different size and size, uh, different thicknesses of shims available. There's a two, a three, and a five and a ten. So you would have to shim it or order a variety before you start. And that pretty much sums it up. Um, doesn't take long, it's just, uh, you know, if you have some kind of a, a way of measuring it. That's it. Thanks for watching. That's how you shim a 400 series. Um, that would be, that would cover the years from uh, 78, uh, yes, or sorry, 81 to 85. Maybe the odd 86 boat would still have the 400 series in it. Thanks for watching. Bye. For anyone who's not sure what it what it looks like, it would. This is a 400 series after we've cleaned it up. This is a job that was brought in for repair. We actually clean the inside, but not the outside. I just we just started to put this back together. But this hub is three and three quarter inches on the inside here, or close to it. Um, okay, yeah, three and three quarters. So if you want to know, like three and three quarters is the four hundred series. Four and a quarter would be the 800 series if you're not sure which outdrive you have. And these are the, just to give you a rough idea of the parts. Okay, and that concludes the, the shimming. If you have any questions or run into any problems, just give Tech Services a call for TC Electronics and Marine. Thank you. Thanks for watching.